Well, hello and welcome to my channel, The Happy Jogger. My name is Ray Sollers and I'm The Happy Jogger. Well, today I've picked a, a subject uh, 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 which is about which shoe I will be choosing to run my first marathon in. Uh, I have several candidates. Uh, any of them are really great choices. There's not per se any wrong choice. But uh, I thought I'd put it up uh, to the uh, people that are watching my channel um, to uh, give their opinion and thoughts uh, on perhaps how they choose their shoe or what shoe of these ones I show you, you might pick to uh, run a first marathon or, or whatever marathon. Uh, the first one I'll choose is the most expensive one, a carbon plated racing shoe. Uh, one of the top-notch uh, uh, rated shoes. No, it's not a Nike. Uh, <laughs> I didn't uh, get into the Nike uh, carbon-plated shoe uh, line, but it is the uh, A6 uh, Metaspeed Sky. Uh, very beautiful shoe, uh, aesthetically, and it is a carbon-plated racing shoe, so therefore it is not very flexible, but um, it is propulsive in nature as uh, carbon plated shoes are designed to be. Uh, each one of these shoes I am going to show you has kind of a rocker technology. Uh, you have this flare up in the back and then it turns up in the front here. So it just has a nice propulsive and, 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 and the carbon plate bends and flexes and helps uh, give you responsive energy. So um, uh, this shoe is the, the highest rated, at least. It is um, uh, built uh, for racing, and it uh, would be an excellent choice for my first uh, marathon. Now, the next shoe is also a carbon-plated racing shoe put out by Skechers. And I'm a big Skechers fan. Not a whole lot of people know that much about Skechers. Or uh, unfortunately, Skechers is not available in a lot of places. Even here in America, it could be a problem. You pretty much have to buy them online. And uh, for that, I have the uh, uh, more recently uh, developed and manufactured Skechers Speed Freak. Uh, once again, it uh, has that rocker technology. Um, it's, uh, all of these shoes are very breathable. This is a, a, a mono mesh type of material. Uh, you can see through it, actually. Um, I uh, think that this one has a little bit more cushion. And this is another issue that I am thinking about. Um, is uh, the comfort level of the shoe. Uh, this is going to be a real tough race for me, uh, having not ever ran 26.2 uh, miles. Uh, the longest I have ran is 18 miles, and this Saturday I will be doing my peak uh, training performance, a 20-miler. And so uh, both of these choices are the ones that are specifically built for racing. Okay. They are carbon plated racing shoes. They're, they're light. They're not built, uh, with, uh, with comfort being the top thing in mind. They are built to race. Uh, so the last shoe actually that I'm considering was the one that originally I thought hands down, I was going to run in it and it still may be the one. Um, and that is the, uh, uh, Saucony Endorphin Speed, and this is version one. They've come out with subsequent versions now. Now, this is uh, quite breathable, once again. Um, I don't know the names of all of the meshes uh, that are used here. Uh, this might be a jacquard mesh, I'm not sure. Anyway, uh, this, uh, uh, this has a nylon plate not a carbon plate, okay? 
So, uh, but it it is uh, was originally built for doing speed work. Um, it uh, is the the uh, little brother of the um, in endorphin um, pro, um, which I didn't particularly like. I sold mine. I didn't care for it. Um, I like this shoe much better. This is really quite an all around uh, shoe that you can really use for uh, speed work, uh, daily training and so forth. And uh, it could very well be my choice because it's kind of a combination of still a fast shoe, but um, a, a bit more comfortable. This uh, nylon plate is, is not as stiff, nearly stiff as a carbon plate, and it's got more cushion built into the shoe, and it still remains being very light. So there are my three choices. Uh, would really love to hear comments about what shoes you use for your marathon, and also comments that you have about what I've said here about these three choices. Um, anyway, I'll just wrap it up as I always do by saying, may you be happy, may you be healthy, may you be at peace, and when race day comes, put a smile on and steady as she goes. Bye-bye.